Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. This is the second video that I am filming today. So you will see how I got this look in another video. And today I'm basically going to be talking about my January, February, and partial March favorites. Things that I have been loving for the past few times. A lot of these items I just got because I had like kind of like an Ulta Sephora I don't know, just basically like an Ulta splurge. My, I bought some thing, new things and I've been loving some old things and I've changed my mind about a lot of things. So if you would like to see what I've been loving, why I've been loving it, then please keep watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah, let's get to the video. Okay, first things first. The first items I'm going to be talking to you about is not a new item, it's actually an old item and I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in another video, but I've actually like used to hate this product. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I actually really used to hate this product. I first got it and I didn't like the finish of it. I didn't like the way it looked on my face. I felt like it looked too cakey. I felt like it didn't last long on my face and I just didn't like it. And lately I've been in this rut where I've been going through a bunch of different foundations because currently I'm like not liking the foundations I currently like. I don't know if it's because my skin is changing, what's going on, but I don't like any of them. And I switched to the L'Oreal um, Pro Glow Foundation and I thought I really liked that, but it just doesn't last long on my face. Like it comes off my face so fast and so easily. It just slips and slides everywhere. I don't like that, but I really like the finish of it. So I was just like one day randomly just picked up this foundation and I started using it and I was like, oh my gosh, my face looks really good. I like this foundation. So that has been one of my favorites. Uh, just this past like month, like probably the end of February, beginning of March, like I have really been loving that foundation. I don't know what it is about it or why my mind changed, but I honestly think it's just my skin going through changes, changing, and right now that foundation really worked for me. And I've heard it's been a lot of people's favorites, and I never understood why, because I absolutely hated it. But I had it, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna put it to use. Oh yeah. Okay, so the next items I'm gonna talk about are really dirty. Forgive me for that. I literally just did my makeup before I started filming this. And they're basically sponges, new sponges that I've been liking. This is the Morphe sponge. It's not the contour and sculpt sponge, but it's the other one. It's more round. And I got this sponge because I tried the Real Techniques one and it fell apart on me. And the Eco Tools one kept falling apart on me and I was sick and tired of it falling apart on me. Like I was just getting ready to go and buy another beauty blender because that didn't fall apart on me as much as those other two did. And I was buying them like every month so finally i was like i'm gonna try the morphe sponge and so i wanted to get the contour and sculpt one but they didn't have any more at my ulta so i actually just got this one it's seven dollars it's so so soft like these are so soft like like i always thought like other sponges are all like the same like the real techniques and the eco tools like they're soft but this is like extremely soft and i like it because i've been using two sponges i'm gonna talk about this one next but i like this because i basically use this and it helps me just spread out my foundation so fast so quick and i use the top part to basically like blend in my facial spray once i spray it on so i don't really use this for like the corner of my eyes or anything i don't think it would be good for that and, but I actually use another sponge for my eyes. But I wanted to mention this because I've been using this to apply foundation and set my <laughs> setting spray into my face. And I've really been loving it. And it's really good quality. It's not falling apart. Like my Real Techniques and Eagle Tool sponge, like literally after like the first wash, it will start falling apart. I've washed this. I've had it for about a couple weeks now. I've washed this multiple times every time I put on my makeup and it doesn't do that. Next is this little tiny sponge. Now, I think I got this as like a Christmas gift. It came with like a bunch of them. They're from Real Techniques. They're like the mini sponges. And these surprisingly don't fall apart like the big sponges do. But I've been using this for my under eyes. I use it to blend out um, concealer on my eyelid. I use it for my under eyes and I also use it to bake with because it's just like so little and it's so perfect and i've really been loving it like i haven't used a big sponge underneath my eyes in so long so i wanted to mention this because it's something that i've really been loving okay next is an eyeliner so if you know from my favorite video of the year that i love the kat von d tattoo liner it's my favorite liner 
So I ran out of that. It finally, finally is gone and I couldn't use it anymore. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need to find another one. And I didn't really have the money to just go and buy a new one. So, and I needed like other things. So I needed to keep it in a budget. I needed to find something that was in my budget where I can afford my other makeup products that I needed to replace and that I needed. So I actually, my mom bought me like, I think it's like called the selfie kit from Sephora. It comes with a bunch of different products and it came with, um, this tart liner and I thought I would like it and I realized the felt tip is horrible like what's wrong with my eyes on why I can't just use like any eyeliner is my eyelashes like they are just like everywhere they're not like in a straight line it's so weird so when I put eyeliner on it's like my eyelashes get caught in the middle of the tip of the felt tip or any kind of liner and just it messes up so I need like something like the tattoo liner that goes on smoothly it's not complicated and I don't have much space on my eyelid to work with eyeliner so I need it to be very precise and go exactly where I go I tried a NYX one I've tried like different ones and I didn't like any of them I thought I liked the NYX one but it was just like bleeding everywhere and I didn't like it so I did like some research and I found that this is a dupe for the Kat Von D tattoo liner and this is the physician's formula the physician's formula eye booster it's a two-in-one lash boosting eyeliner and serum so it's boosting your lashes at the same time that you're lining your eyes and it is definitely a dupe for the Kat Von D tattoo liner I definitely agree with that it goes on exactly like it it glides on my eyes so easily I do like the Kat Von D one just a tad bit better just a tad bit like there's just something about that one that's so easy and this one like it's not as easy, but I'd say it's a dupe and it's really affordable than the Kat Von D one. So I recommend it and I've been using it and I really love it. Okay, next is this um, L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. This is just a primer before you put on your mascara. I've been loving it for my lower lashes and for my lashes when I'm not wearing any false eyelashes. It really makes my lashes like stand up. I used to buy this other mascara by L'Oreal that had like a double end and I used to love that primer and then like I ran out and I never bought it and I quit using primer and I realized how much I was like hating my eyelashes because I needed a primer to make my eyelashes more fluffy and more longer because they suffer. So I decided I would try this. I bought this on a whim and I freaking love it. I love it so much. Like I love the effect it gives to my eyelashes. I love like how it makes my lashes look longer on the bottom even though they're not. I really love it. I highly recommend it. A lot of people think that primers aren't worth it, but they are 100% worth it to me. I freaking love them. Okay, next is a setting powder. So I got this setting powder in that selfie kit I told you my mom bought me, and I freaking love it. It is called the Stellar, I don't know, Stellar Beauty setting powder, and it's in glow number two. There's nothing glowy about this. It's very matte. And it has like a bit of a color to it, like a bit of like my skin tone type of color. It's not so translucent. I freaking love it for sitting under my eyes, for putting it all over my lid after I prime my eyes. It just, I really, really love it. It's so soft. It's smooth, so smooth. It like is not drying. I find it less drying than I, the one that I love, my Too Faced one. But the only thing is, is I looked, this is like four grams. And I think the one that is four grams costs like $30 at Sephora, which is freaking crazy expensive for the small amount that you get in it. And the other thing I don't like about it is when you open it, it's, I'm not even going to open it. It's going to make a mess. It makes a ginormous mess and I hate it. Um, but the formula of that powder, I absolutely love it. I just don't know if I want to buy it because it comes with such a little amount and like i use setting powder so much it's just like one thing that i just I go ham on so i need it to be come with more for less price because i can't be running out of it all the time and expecting my husband to just come up with money for it so yeah but i've really been loving that powder next i also got this in that selfie kit like i got all these items in this selfie kit that you get at sephora it's like 28 dollars, and you get a bunch of like little sample size or not sample size travel size items and so i got to try out a lot of new items that i really liked and this next product came from that kit and it is the abeka shimmering skin perfector um highlighter in opal this is such a pretty color it's so it's the highlight i'm wearing right now 
it blends into my skin well. I've noticed my skin's been lighter probably because it's winter and I'm not going outside as much. So my skin has been lighter. And the one that I was using, I forgot what it's called. I forgot what it's called. Is it called Prosecco Pop? Did I say this was called Prosecco Pop? It's not. It's called Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Powder in Opal. The one I've been using is in Prosecco Pop and it's a very golden undertone. In the summer, it worked out perfect for my skin. I was loving it. Right now, it looks so yellow on my face and just way too dark. So I got this Opal one in that kit and I freaking love it. It's so gorgeous. Like, it's just beyond gorgeous. It looks good on my skin and it's just the perfect color. Especially if I like my skin because it's it's a little bit dark, but it's a little bit light complected. So it's working out perfect. Next are a couple eye products. So I have like quite a lot of things that I've been loving. So basically I got, because you know that ColourPop went to Ulta. So I went to Ulta and I was like, I need to get ColourPop. So I bought a Super Shock Shadow. I have about three Super Shock Shadows and they're like all like pink colors, like really bright colors, like colors I don't use. But I do know that with those shadows that they put like a type of glitter over your eyes that I've really been loving, especially when I just want a pop of glitter. And so I bought this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in a maze, which is so freaking pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. And like it, I don't know, cause on my viewfinder it doesn't look glittery, but it has glitter in it. And it's just like putting glitter. I love to put it on top of eyeshadows. Like I'm going to put it on this. And it just gives you glitter. It gives you glitter that you need. And I've been using it like nonstop since I got it. I've been doing like every eyeshadow look. And then I go in and I add this. I love it. Highly recommend Super Sock Shadows. I know they're not anything new. But I really love this color in Amaze because it's like... A silvery but gold color so it goes with so many so many eyeshadows that you can put on top and give you that glitter pop effect next is an eyeshadow palette so I've really been loving this eyeshadow palette since I got it it is the color pop double in in tundra palette and it's the one that they sell at color pop I really really like this palette like I've been using it I think I got it like a week ago couple weeks ago and I've been using it like non-stop like it replaced my soft glam palette this palette did and I've been using it like so much and they're the perfect neutral shadows you can get like an everyday look it's just what I would be using every single day I love these they are the formula is so good $16 you can't beat that it's amazing I highly recommend that palette I am going to be getting more color pop palettes but that one is a must so go to your Ulta get that palette Next is this eyeshadow glue. Uh, is the Duo Strip Last Adhesive. It's just the white, clear, regular eyeshadow glue. I've always used the Duo Brush On Adhesive with like vitamins or something. I've always used this glue. And I bought another one of this glue, but it was so runny. It was just like runny. It was getting glue all over my fake lashes. And I was like, what the heck is going on? Why isn't this like it was supposed to be? It's just gliding all over my lashes. It wasn't sticking to my lashes. My lashes were a hot mess. I was like, I need something different. So I went and I bought this regular duo glue. I freaking love it. I love it so much more. It keeps my eyelashes on all day. Like the other glue, sometimes my eyelashes would lift up. But this glue keeps your eyelashes on all day. It's it's no joke, the best clip. I should have I should have been using it the whole time. Next is a lipstick. This is the Sephora Lip Stories lipstick in tan lines. This is super affordable. It's like eight dollars. It's this gorgeous like pinky color. It's like I don't know, like brownish, orangish. It's like a peachy color. I love this lipstick to put over lipsticks because it gives me like. It's like when a lipstick is just like too dark, this gives me the vibes that I need where I want it to just tone it down and turn it into a nude lipstick. I really love it. I've been using it like nonstop with like this Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in Ashton. I've been using it like nonstop with this lipstick. And that lipstick is like too much for me and this one tones it down and brings it. Like I love... A nude color lip and that's what I love about this lipstick so 
I'm really glad I got this lipstick. I highly recommend these. These are so cute. Like they're in like this, I don't know, plastic. This is a cream lipstick too. So like when I eat and stuff, like if I have like a really good long lasting lipstick underneath it, I eat like that lipstick underneath stays and all I have to do is just reapply this and I get my look again. Like I love it. I've been wearing it nonstop. It's like one of my favorite lipsticks and I want to go and get more. Okay, next I want to talk about is this number, sen number seven skin eliminator. It's a natural looking radiance for a beautiful glow and it's hypoallergenic. So basically you just, I guess I like use it kind of as like not a moisturizer because I still put a moisturizer on. But before I put primer on, I will put this on and it just gives me like a glow. So my skin is still like glowing but it's not like too much and i really really love it i don't know what it is it smooths my skin out and makes it soft moisturizes it a little more and it gives me a glow i really love it i've been loving it. i've been using it non-stop i was like this is awesome i love this stuff so all right guys so that was my favorites for the past three months that i have been loving i absolutely love all these products i recommend them to you because I've just been loving them non-stop and it's so crazy how my mind can like change about products all the time. Like I love it. I love trying new makeup. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put the notifications on so you get notified every single time I upload. I know I've slacked, but we're getting back on track. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.